It is the extraction of valuable minerals or other geological material from the earth. So, uh, uh, just imagine what is life without mining. So let's uh, let's take a look back of because some of the um, the mga social media informations misle uh, might mislead us or misinform us with their um, informations na na ji na apoy tama na apoy dili so this is our government's principle for social equity and development the philippine government recognizes the rights and participation of the communities and indigenous people and ensures the fair and equitable sharing of benefits among the company the government and host communities so ang mining companies galante na sila no? it is actually mandated by law that the host community and the neighbor communities appeal pang silingan nga community maka benefit. We care for the natural resources and we as young people of this generation will also benefit from mining if run well and will also experience the worst things if not run well. Okay? So we are here promoting responsible mining. We don't need mining. So, do you think we don't really need mining? Together with the development of our country is the increase in need of raw materials that comes from mining. Do not be deceived by the misinformation in social media. Rather, listen to legal and scientific experts and be wise to uncover the truth about mining. For it is by your wisdom and understanding you have gained wealth for yourself and amassed gold and silver in your treasuries. This world has offered us a great many things, and one of them is our minerals. We benefit from them in one way or another, and yet we never notice these things. And let us not take them for granted, and let us be aware of them. For these minerals is much more than rocks found beneath us, but they are also capable of shaping our way of life. To my dear fellow youth of this generation, I know that you know that we are the hope of the nation. And as the hope of the nation, let us together utilize and protect our mineral resources, which is our country's edge, than failing to do so because of lack of knowledge. I remember that in Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, God said, My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. So better be informed because we are run by laws, not by perceptions. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land with brooks, streams, deep springs, gushing out into the valleys and hills, a land with wheat and barley, vines and fig trees, pomegranates, olive oil and honey, a land where la bread will not be scarce and will lack nothing, and lastly, a land where rocks are iron and you can dig copper out of the hills. It is very clear that God's provision for basic needs of human is food, water, and minerals. So therefore, minerals are God's provision for humanity, mined responsibly.